Hello students! So ngayon naman sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-divide ng fraction. So ano ba yung mga steps na dapat nating sundin kung paano magkaroon ng accurate answer sa pag-divide ng mga different fractions. So, given fraction. So, muli kasama ninyo si Teacher Bean. Sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-divide ng same fraction kapag same fraction ng given, kapag may whole number, i-divide natin sa fraction. At kapag may mixed number, na i-divide din natin sa fraction. So, bago natin simulan itong video na ito, kapag di ka pa nakasubscribe sa akin channel, please click subscribe at click mo na rin yung notification bell para mag updated ka sa mga latest video. At kung gusto mo magkaroon ng mga worksheets or guide, pwede ka rin mag-member sa aking FB page, Teacher Bean. Search mo lang sa Facebook given in dividing fraction. So, we have 1 third divided by 3 fourth is equal to so, ano ba yung step na dapat natin gawin or paano mag-solve ng fraction? So, ang first step, we need to write the given number. So, we need to keep the first fraction the same. So, yung ating first fraction, we have here yung 1 third. So, yung 1 third, yung ating first fraction, we need to rewrite it. Keep the first fraction the same. So, susulat ulit natin, 1 third. Okay. Step 2. Change the division to multiplication. So, yung division sign daw, babaguhin natin to multiplication. So, susulat ulit natin siya. Papalitan natin yan. Gagawin natin, Multiplication sign. Yeah, multiply. Then, for the second given fraction, yung pangalawa, yung ating divisor, we need to take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So, ano ba yung reciprocal na sinasabi? Ang reciprocal ay yung reverse the numerator and the denominator. Pagbabalik tari lang natin yung numerator and denominator. At it is the what? to multiply a value by to get a 1. So, this is also called the multiplicative inverse. Bali, pagbabalik ka rin lang natin yung numerator at denominator nung second fraction. So, mapupunta sa taas yung nasa baba, yung number 4. Then, sa baba, mapupunta naman yung number 3. So, pinagbaliktad lang natin yung numerator at denominator. So, magiging 4 third. So, ito na siya. Ito yung ating magiging given. Ngayon, isosolve na natin. Our next step is, we will multiply. Multiply first the numerator. So, yung nasa taas muna, una natin mo multiply. So, equal... So, 1 times 4, multiply natin yung nasa taas, yung ating numerator, yan. 1 times 4 is equal to 4 over, yan. Then, you multiply the denominator, yung nasa baba naman. So, ito, yung 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Okay. So, our answer is, 4, 9. Kapag dinibide natin yung 1 third divided by 3 fourth, ang lalabas, ang magiging answer ay 4, 9. Ginawa natin ang multiplication, nag-reverse uh, nag tayo nung second fraction, ito yung step para makuha yung accurate answer in terms of divisions. Yun yung rule of fraction sa pagdidivide. Yan. Kung makikita nyo, observe nyo to, this is what we call proper fraction. Mas mataas yung denominator, yung number 9 sa baba. Yan, kung makikita nyo. Then, the numerator. Pag mataas naman yung numerator, yung nasa taas ng fraction, then the denominator, isisimplify natin yan. Yun yung ituturo ko mamaya sa second given. Yung pagsisimplify naman. Na dapat yung answer natin, yung numerator ay mas mababa than the denominator. 
Next given, we have 3 7 divided by 2 3rd. So, our first step is equal to write muna natin yung first given fraction o ating dividend. So, yung 3 7, sulat lang natin. Then, second step, change natin yung division sign into multiplication. Then, third step, we need to get the reciprocal of the given second fraction. So, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin, reverse lang natin yung denominator, numerator, yung 2 third. Lalagay nyo lang sa taas yung 3, sa baba yung 2. Babalik ta rin lang. Equal, yan. Then, multiply na. Multiply muna natin yung numerator. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, denominator. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. Our answer is 9, 14. So, yun yung ating sagot. Kung makikita nyo, mataas yung ating denominator than the numerator. This is a proper fraction. So, nakasimplify yung ating sagot. Yan. That's how we divide fraction. This is our given. We have 4 divided by 2 fifths. So, kapag ito, ang ating first given ay whole number. Paano natin de-divide yung ganitong type of given? So, ang una natin gagawin, gawin natin yung whole number na fraction. Rewrite natin yung first step, write the given number. So, gagawin natin fraction yung 4. Paano gawin yung fraction ng whole number? So, ganito lang yan. So, madali lang gawing fraction yung given. So, itong 4 magiging 4, 1. So, yan. 4 over 1. Lalagyan lang natin siya ng 1 sa kanyang denominator. So, ganun ang whole number pag ginagawang fraction. Always add 1 sa denominator. So, 4 over 1. Next. Next step. Change lang natin yung division sign sa gagawin nating multiplication. Yan. Times. Then, next step. Get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Pagbabalik na natin, reverse lang natin yung two fits. Pagpapalitin lang natin yung denominator at numerator. So, 5 ang mapupunta sa taas at 2 naman sa baba. So, yan yun. Pag pinagpalit natin. Ngayon, mumultiply natin. So, equals first, Multiply yung numerator. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Then, multiply the denominator. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. So, 20 and halves. So, 20 over 2. Makikita natin. So, kapag ganito yung given number natin, na improper fraction, mas mataas yung numerator than the denominator, kailangan natin isimplify. Pababain pa yung ating answer. So, isimplify pa natin to na tinatawag. So, para isimplify natin ang improper fraction tulad nito, isipin natin yung kanilang common, highest common factor. So, i-apply natin yung sa divisibility din. Pwede natin kung ano ba number divisible tong dalawa na pinakamataas na common factor nila. So, ang 20 and 2 can be divisible or their common factor is 2. So, pwede yung 2. So, ang 20 pwede sa 2, ang 2 pwede sa 2. So, i-divide natin siya para i-simplify. Yan. I-simplify nyo kapag mataas yung numerator than the denominator. So, i-divide natin to sa ang common factor nila ay 2 highest common factor. So, 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. And 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So, 10 over 1 o 10, 1. Pag 1 ang nasa baba, pwede ang 2 ay or pag 1 lang ang nasa baba, pwede ang sagot na natin ay 10 over 1 or 10. Yan. Pwede 10 na lang kapag ang denominator ay 1. So, ang ating answer, 10, 1, or 10. Kapag dinibide yung 4 divided by 2 fits. So, yan yung ating sagot or simplify answer. Sa so, pagdidivide na, whole number and fraction. Next 
given, we have 3 and 2 third divided by 5 6. So, kapag ganito, kung ma-observe nyo, yung 3 and 2 third ay mixed number, yung ating first given dito. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, gagawin natin siyang improper fraction. Yung walang whole number na kasama na fraction lang. So, paano natin gagawin improper fraction na mixed number? So, ganito lang yan. Multiply lang natin itong denominator sa whole number. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, yung sagot doon, a-add naman natin sa numerator na 2. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9 plus 2 is equal to po is equal to 11. And, 3. Kopihin lang natin yung denominator. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 over 3. So, kopihin lang. Yan yun. Ngayon, yung division sign naman magiging multiplication sign na. Then, get the reciprocal of the next fraction. Second fraction, babalik tarin lang natin. 6 na yun sa taas at 5 sa baba. Yan. Babalik tarin lang natin lagi yun, yung second fraction. Ngayon, multiply na natin. First, muna yung numerator. 11 times 6 is equal to 66. Next naman ay yung denominator. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Ngayon naman, ang susunod, 66 and 15 ang sagot. Mas malaki na naman dito yung numerator than the denominator. So, isi-simplify natin to. Kasi improper fraction, need to simplify. So, pag sinimplify natin to, hanap, isipin lang natin kung ano yung kanilang highest common factor. At divisibility, uh, divisible sila ng yung 66. Sulat natin dito sa baba. Ang uh, 66 and uh, 15 over 15 is divisible by 3. Ang highest common factor nila. So, pwede silang ma-divide dyan na walang remainder. Yung magkamukha sila na highest common factor. So, 66 divided by 3 is equal to 22. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So, 22 over 5. So, kapag ganito, mataas pa rin yung numerator than the denominator. Ano na gagawin natin? Kapag ganyan, de-divide naman natin. Kung wala na silang highest common factor, halimbawa, yung 22 at 5, wala na sila na same. Highest common factor and divisible, uh, divisible number. So, ang gagawin dyan, de-divide na natin yan. Yung numerator sa denominator. So, 20 divided by 5. So, 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Minus 22 minus 20 is equal to 2. So, remainder two May remainder 2 tayo. So, ang gagawin lang natin sa so, naging sagot natin dito Ang ating denominator ay 5. Kopihin lang natin. Yung same pa din. Tapos yung sagot natin, ang ating whole number dito sa gitna. And then yung 2 na remainder, ang ating numerator. So, ganito yung lalabas. Magiging mixed number ang ating simplify answer. Pag sinimplify. So, 4 and 2 feet. Yan. So, ang sagot sa 3 and 2 third divided by 5, 6 is equal to 4 and 2 feet. Ayan, yung ating answer na simplify. So, that's all our lesson for today about dividing fractions. Sana natutunan nyo at nalaman nyo yung mga step na dapat nating sundin. So, kung may tanong kayo, kay mahiya, pwede kayo mag-type sa ating comment section sa baba. At if nagustuhan nyo itong video na ito, just click the like button. So, maraming salamat. Till next time, with Teacher Bean.